The Sri Lanka College of Pulmonologists kicked off the 14th annual academic session Respire 2024 yesterday in Colombo. The chief guest at the inaugurations was the Minister of Health, Dr. Ramesh Patirana, while the Secretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Palita Mahipala, attended the event as the guest of honour. Primarily because of the fact that we were encountering this COVID pandemic and secondly because of the fact that we are going through economic recession. Our level of care has been plateaued. It has not gone up as expected. That's why our universal health coverage has come to a stagnant level of 67%, which is neither good nor bad. But some of the countries in the region, including Thailand, Malaysia, Hong Kong, they have gone beyond passing us. On the long run, we have to address certain concerns. Our policy direction from the ministry's side would be to strengthen the primary health care system of the country and also to ensure that we embark on the preventive mechanisms of the country. At the same time, as I highlighted, to ensure that we look after our elderly population of the country. And also, it's in the third decade of the 21st century, we have to ensure our health system embrace the technological advancements, including artificial intelligence, which deals with a lot of situations which humans cannot engage or it's not, it's, uh, which are difficult to encounter. 2019, chronic respiratory diseases were the third leading cause of death. It's true for today as well. Disease prevalence is half a billion cases and also it causes 4 million deaths globally. 90% of these deaths occur in low and middle income countries like Sri Lanka. Tobacco accounts for 30 to 40% of the causes and cases. WHO came out with a global action plan for NCDs, non-communicable diseases and chronic lung diseases are part of it. Globally, NCDs causes 41 million deaths. Reducing tobacco smoke exposure and indoor air pollution is very important preventive measures. Ministry of Health focus a lot on care and treatment. Also, we focus care and treatment for chronic obstructive airway diseases over the years, particularly over the last three, four years, through strengthening the primary health care services. We need to increase tobacco taxation. These are simple interventions we call population-wide interventions. No cost involved, but it reduces the number of cases. Health warnings, and now we are trying to go for plain packaging of cigarette packets, ban tobacco advertising, and also ban smoking in workplaces, public transport, and public places. These are the population-wide interventions which reduce the tobacco consumption in a society leads to reduce chronic obstructive airway diseases.